Bobo Bar, Bobo Bar before the big workout. All right, made it to Leadville, Colorado. We're back to 10,200 feet above sea level. This uh, city, it used to be a big city. It used to be a mining town, big mining town. Uh, was founded in the 1800s and uh, yeah, we're high up here. I am seeking out a dirt road. I believe it's just above the city here for these 1K repeats. So this is a key workout for the marathon training block leading into Amsterdam. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, it's time to go anaerobic and you better believe we will go anaerobic at 10,200 feet above sea level. Uh, so I just got to find this road here and uh, get the warm up in and then rock and roll. It's a little chilly up here. I knew that was gonna be a possibility. A little breezy, not too bad. I, I, I think the wind is actually dying down a little bit, which is nice as the day moves on. But, um, oh man, let's rock and roll. All right, gonna have a little, a light lunch with a Bobo bar, a Unibed gel, and get this, uh, get this energy going here. So we're almost there. All right, everyone, here are the shoes options, and we are, we're ready, everyone. Here we go. So I'm going to warm up in the Beacon V2s, and then, yes, most likely, I brought a couple options, the Carbon Xs, the Next Percents, you better believe it, uh, but also the 5280s, in case I just felt I haven't tried them out yet, the New Balance 5280s, I'm probably not. They're probably going to have to wait until after Amsterdam, but I might hop in a couple Ks at the very end in those. But most likely, likely it's going to be mostly in these four percents. All right, let's lace up. There it is. Nice warm up. Then I'll get the strides in. And I almost forgot, everyone. A package, a couple packages arrived uh, before I left from my house in Denver. So let's open this one up real quick. Hold on. There we go. So I uh, I splurged a little bit. I foresee Leadville being a go-to spot for me for training in the future. The elevation, the dirt roads, uh, the views, the beauty, it's incredible. So I couldn't resist, that's right, picking up this book. Oh yeah, The Leadville Runner. Hopefully you can see that. So this book, I just, I just fell in love with it when I saw it at the City on a Hill uh, coffee shop here in Leadville. And just look at the maps and the detail for all these runs around Leadville. So anyway, look, and it has a lot of great pictures as well, a lot of beauty in there. So I just couldn't resist picking it up. Oh man, so I foresee 2020 being a Leadville and it's easy access from Denver. It's not, uh, it's not too far away from Denver. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. Arrived and okay, here we go. It's time folks to lace it up, time to rock and roll. This is why I always pack a pack a towel in my car because you just never know where you're going to have to roll out a little bit. So Like, like I said, Leadville's becoming a little bit of a training ground for me. Uh, so back to a 
staying here tonight in a new motel. I can tell this one's a little nicer, uh, actually quite a bit nicer than the last one. And yes, I've got my dinner here in the cooler. I'm gonna show you, so I'm getting quite a few questions as far as like what I eat uh, in between big efforts. And I am staying here tonight so that I can do my last big long run uh, before Amsterdam. So I'll show you what I'm eating and um, bada bing bada boom. Let's just get, get unpacked here and put that there. Get the cooler. Oh, man, everybody. Moving on up. Let's see, where should I put this? Maybe this guy. Okay. Okay, everyone. Here it is. Can you see all this? Um, and I know it doesn't look like much, but I feel like it's a good amount. So I got my salad from home with chicken inside. I won't open it up right now, but with chicken inside for my protein. So there, that's in there. Uh, let's see, and then I've got my Unived uh, recovery mix drink mixed up in here. It's, it's chilling off with some ice. Uh, then a banana, a bobo bar, hard boiled eggs. I also get my protein from hard boiled eggs. I love it. Um, I often put uh, hot sauce on them at home, but I don't have any hot sauce. That's okay. Did I already mention this green drink? So just a bunch of spinach and uh, lemon and cucumbers and all sorts of good stuff. Celery, kiwi, uh, kale, apples. Oh man, can't wait for that. And then throughout the night, um, you know, as I'm editing and sitting here in the motel, I snack on pistachio snacks, any sort of nut um, nut snack. Like I love um, not almonds, but uh, pecans back at home as well. So these are pomegranate uh, flavored pistachios with some uh, cherries and black pepper and pomegranates in there as well. So that is my, that's what, that's what I'm eating tonight after a big day, 22 miles today and a big long run tomorrow. And this will, this, this, all this will set me up. I know, cause I've been doing it for a long time. Set me up well for tomorrow. So there you go. All right, enough talking, time to eat. All right, everyone, we are wrapping up this vlog. Let me just grab a quick chair here. Um, tip of the day, uh, ask uh, the motels or hotels you're staying at if they have a bathtub for ice baths or Epsom salt baths. I forgot to ask this uh, motel, but sure enough, they do. So that is a bonus. So that is my tip of the day. I'm just raising up the camera a little bit here. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's the tip of the day. Just got done with an Epsom salt bath, got the food in me. Uh, we're gonna wrap this vlog because I need to get to bed because yes, another big run here in Leadville uh, in about, uh, well, what time is it? About, about 15 hours from now. So I'll get going and let me just pull up the workout from today, 12 by 1K with 90 seconds rest. Now, some of the 90 second rests were a little off because I was, uh, I'm still figuring out the Polar V uh, watch. And so I, I couldn't quite see, anyway, it was a range between 80 and probably 100 seconds of rest, just so you know, for the 12 by 1K. And let me just pull it up here on Strava real quick. And I don't, I don't really know what I'm uh, looking at here. I'm just gonna read some stats to you. So it was 15 miles total, a three mile warm up, a three mile cool down, 12 by 1K with a you know, very slow jog in between each rep. And it looks like my heart rate, okay, this is cool. So, you know, anyway, I'll just, I'm just gonna read this and this is straight from the watch transferred to Strava. It looks like my, uh, my max heart rate was 198. So that's, as far as I know, I believe heart rate folks out there, I believe that's pretty high. And that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be very, very high. That might've been, it looks, if I'm reading this correctly, based on this graph, it looks like it was the 12th rep which I feel like makes sense. I was trying to close hard and because the, yeah, it looks like it was the 12th rep that it got up to 198. Um, let's see, what else, what else? So the times were between, and I wasn't looking at my watch, it was all by feel. And I will say that out of the 12, probably only three of them felt pretty uh, relaxed and smooth. You know, my leg, I still feel the race in my legs. And so I was fighting it a little bit, trying to keep the, uh, keep the effort strong, but there was, it was the third rep, I remember, the third rep where I felt upright, I felt strong and smooth, and I think it may have even been my fastest rep. So I, my range in time for the 1K repeats at 10,200 feet, and the course was 60% dirt, maybe 70% dirt, and then 30% pavement. You kind of saw the pavement there at the end. Um, so I went between three, uh, 305 was the fastest, and I believe that was my third rep, and then the slowest was my first rep, 312. 
Um, I had a couple of the 312s mixed in there. Most of them were between, I would say like 308 and 310 as far as the times. So again, I don't know exact, I, I'm not an interval trainer, um, but I feel all I know is I was breathing hard and that's what I wanted. And uh, by the end, but like the last three, I was starting to get tired. I was like, okay, I could do more, but I don't. I, I didn't see a purpose to that. Um, I wanted to do at least 10 and no more than 12. Um, but by the 12th one, I was definitely tired, uh, especially with the long run to Morrow. So there you go. I'm trying to think 12 by 1K, fastest 305, slowest 312. We're at 10,000 feet, 90 seconds rest. I feel good. I feel good about it. It's like it's a good effort. It's not the most important uh, workout in my training regimen, as you know. I'll do one more threshold on Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday. Very excited about that. And then it's basically, basically, I'll do a couple more tempo, like just very baby stuff, but it. We're basically honing in here. We're honing in here. So thanks for listening to that. I know I didn't get a ton of filming in because I'm up here by myself. So it's a little hard to film the actual 12 by 1, 1K. I was very focused on the task at hand here in Leadville, Colorado. And yes, uh, the books that I am reading right now are down below in the description in case you're interested in picking up the Leadville Runner or I'm also reading a book about the New York City Marathon right now as well. They're down below, but if you want to support a local author and especially if you're interested in running the Leadville 100 someday, any day, this, I can tell. Now, obviously, I haven't read the book, so I can't, okay, I can't fully endorse it, um, but I can just tell that this is really well done with great maps, a lot of great descriptions, great photos, as I already mentioned. And um, if you want to train for the Leadville 100, I would suspect that this would be an incredible resource for that. So anyway, there's a shot from uh, actually near Buena Vista where I grew up. And again, the author's name is uh, Talbot is his last name. I think it's Justin Talbot. Yes, Justin Talbot. So again, it's available down below. Support our local runners, our local authors out there, guys and ladies making a difference in the running world. So I'm glad I picked this up from Amazon and I love you all. I think that is it. Oh my goodness, question of the day. I haven't asked this question of the day. I think in six months. So this is going to be great. What is your, um, okay, you have two options. What is your all-time favorite running book? Or what is your, what are you currently reading that is running related? Okay. Uh, so those are your two options for the question of the day. Obviously right now, tonight, as I pass out here in Leadville, I'm going to be reading the Leadville Runner. All right, everyone, that is it for today. In fact, I'm going to toss it back to that last discussion six months ago where we talked about running books on the right. And then on the left, I'm going to toss it back to the last time I was in Leadville just about two weeks ago where I did some training up here as well. All right, you guys are the best. I love you. Say beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.